The Newberry's online catalog is the primary tool for identifying and locating resources relevant to your research. Beginning June 24, 2020, the Newberry will implement Primo V, a discovery service that provides a wider variety of search options than our previous catalogs. To access the Newberry's catalog, go to www.newberry.org and hover your mouse over the Research tab, then Catalogs and Guides, then Online Catalog. Or you can click on the link for Online Catalog in the box to the right, and then click Advanced Search. This is the Primo V landing page. You see tabs at the top where you can access further resources and tools, such as the Modern Manuscript Catalog, the journals that are held at the Newberry both in print and electronically, and the Newberry's digital collections. The search panel below these tabs is where you can begin your search, and beneath the search panel we have provided more information about using the catalog, as well as a link to contact a librarian if you need any assistance. To start a simple search, use the search panel at the top of the screen and type in one or more words that you are looking for. If you enter multiple words, Primo V will return results that contain all of the specified terms. Let's search for Gwendolyn Brooks. Notice that the search scope menu pops up. The search scope allows you to define where the system should perform the search. You may choose from the Newberry Library Catalog, the Newberry Library Catalog and eResources, Articles, All iShare Libraries, or EBSCO API databases. If you don't choose anything, the default search scope is the Newberry Library Catalog, which will yield results from the Newberry's print and manuscript collections. Notice that you don't have to use the last name, comma, first name format when searching for people. We've received 57 results for our search, and you can see a little bit about each item on the results page including the author, title, publication information, reading room location, and call number. You can reorder your results by using sort by, and you can also use the facets to refine your results. If 57 items is too many to go through, you can narrow your search by things like format type, location in the Newberry, creator, subject, creation date, etc. Let's use the genre facet to refine our results to poetry only. We've now narrowed our results down to 13. Let's scroll down to A Street in Bronzeville. If you know that this is the book you are looking for, you can click on the Available At link, which will take you straight to the request link in the catalog record. But let's take a look at that record by clicking on the title. In this catalog, anything in blue is a hyperlink, and it will take you to a different location, either within the catalog record, within the catalog, or to an external link location altogether. The same information from the results page appears at the top of the catalog record. Below that and to the left, you will see a menu that lets you jump around the catalog record. You should also see an X and up and down arrows to the far left. These will help you navigate out of the catalog record if you click the X or scroll to the previous or next record by clicking on each arrow. On the other side of the directional menu is another menu offering options for the catalog record so you can print, email, or access the permalink for the record as well as get the citation for this item. To get back to this exact record, you want to use that permalink rather than copying and pasting the address from the top of the screen. Export RIS allows you to export the record to RIS format and save it in a file. An RIS file is a bibliographic citation file. If we continue scrolling or click on Available from the directional menu, we'll see that the Newberry has two copies of this book, both in the General Collections Reading Room on the second floor each cataloged with a different call number. To see copy-specific details about each book, click on the arrow next to each item. To request the item, click on the Request for Use at the Newberry Library link that appears in the white panel beneath the book information. To request items, you must log in with a Newberry Aon account. 
If you don't already have one, you can create an account at requests.newberry.org. If you have questions or need assistance, use the Contact a Librarian link or email reference at newberry.org.